What's up, everyone? I'm just right here playing Clash of Clans, the video game. And it's a trip because, well, like, you have to, like, really look at this. And basically, what happens is that it transitions from one clan, one army, one kingdom, to another kingdom, to another kingdom, to another kingdom. And basically, Clash of Clans is you have your own kingdom or whatever, you know, your own space, your own army and stuff like that right but what really gets to me is that it seems like we're treating each other the same way this whole game is pretty much like like it's like a I forget the word but anyways my point is that we as humans we all pretty much want to aspire to become better in life right just like everyone else right and it seems like Everyone wants the same thing. You know, everyone wants a good job. Everyone wants to retire. Everyone wants a house. Everyone wants a car. Everyone wants something out of life. And so everyone is trying to work towards getting the same type of, you know, stuff. And some people are just better at it than others, right? So, like in the video game, Clash of Clans, it seems like we are basically like the little goblins. They go and they take their, you know, their resources. So, basically... They're stealing money and stuff like that. The little goblins. And they bring it back to your kingdom so you could, you know, grow your kingdom. You know, and upgrade certain inventions and stuff like that. Certain weapons, etc, etc, etc. But it seems like in life, we're doing the same thing, like... We are somehow figuring out ways to steal from one another. Even though it's not stealing, it's just that people call it business. And they are deals that are, hap that are happening in this world system where we interact with money and we need it you know um so with this game you know it just made me think about that it made me think about how we interact with that money and how we pretty much are doing the same kind of concept like in the game you know, because I can go searching for another opponent to steal coins and to destroy and conquer or whatever, right? In Clash of Clans. And, you know, like, I've probably spent a lot of time and energy into, into Clash of Clans and... Like, it's been a while since 
I actually thought of, you know, that I actually thought about, you know, this, this idea. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to end this video. Um, that's why I personally believe a lot in innovation and sharing our knowledge with one another and the reason why you know why we you know should look out for one another as people as much as possible because you know not not everyone is smart in every single aspect of life and not everyone is stupid in every aspect or certain things of life so we all have our weaknesses we all have our strengths so therefore you know if people are just you know if people are inventors you know those inventions should be considered evaluated the same is true for people who don't want to invent or think or work mentally, but they want to instead, they want to go ahead and study further or they want to get a career, a job, you know, doing whatever, you know, but for people who, who use their mind to think up about ideas, think of think things up and stuff like that, if they're free-minded, then, you know, like, they should have equal rights with all of us, and I believe that they should be um, cared for, you know, on all regards, because there's a lot of people out there, it seems like, to me, it seems like they don't know, like, about certain things of life or, or they're allowing something else to distract them from, you know, taking care of certain responsibilities. But at the same time, you know, I see even the rich. People who have money, right? They hire people to take care of certain responsibilities within their own household. So they hire people to do that while maybe the middle class people, you know, they have to take care of some of those responsibilities themselves just because of the money factor. They don't really have that much money. They can't afford a house cleaner or someone to take care of some of their obligations from their daily agenda, right? From as, as opposed to like the rich people. So see, people that have money, it basically creates less stress, less worries. Therefore, it can also be mentally good and physically good for those who don't stress out because obviously they're going to remain more healthier, more healthy looking, beautiful looking, handsome looking, whatever, just because of the fact that the simple fact that they don't have to stress out over certain, um, little, you know, like, Little things over little things, you know. So even the the poor, obviously they can't afford anyone much themselves. So they have to take on the all the obligations. So obviously. We need to evaluate that. We need to see it from a whole different perspective. And not just that, but that is one of the reasons why 
people who don't have a lot of money are probably, you know, they could be stealing, maybe. I don't know. But it takes me back to Clash of Clans, the video game, you know. And, you know, like it, it could be just like that where people want something. So they do whatever it takes to get that. And it seems like the video game has actually taught me that there's a same type of formula that is happening all over the world. And here I am. I just, I just started recording 10 minutes and 50, 10 minutes and 50 seconds ago. And it, it honestly feels like I've been speaking for like a whole hour. <laughs> I just been talking about some deep stuff. That's why. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I, where was I at? Shit. I fucking, I lost my train of thought, I think. Jesus. For some reason, I just got distracted and I felt like saying that it feels like I've been recording for a whole hour, but it's only been 10 minutes. Anyways, I just, I just thought that honestly right now. I just thought that and I looked at the, the timing and the video duration and I, it just threw me off because when I looked at it, I was like, whoa, I was actually amazed that it has, it had only been 10 minutes. So just by me looking at that, it distracted me. Um, but anyways, I remember now. Okay. So it was about the formula, you know, in the video game, it, the same is true in real life. There's a formula. There's like a kind of like a a teaching like something they want a family member to learn. So they basically tra- or they pass that information from one generation to another. From their children to their, you know, um, to their children, to their grandchildren, all that stuff, right? So, (sighs) there's just so much, um, of that knowledge And I I forget, honestly, I'm, I'm, I think I'm tired, honestly, I should probably take a break, but, um, I'm, I'm, my mind is just racing right now. I'm thinking about too many things. So I'm jumping the gun in my mind mentally and I need to just take a little break. But anyways, there is a formula, and it seems like everyone's been copying off each other, and so therefore, that's why I created my, well, a page, it's just a page on Facebook that I named Invent or Don't Invent. And basically, it's like about innovation and adding on top of inventions. Not just the ones I listed or up, up, or posted or uploaded, whatever, however you want to look at it. 
but all the interventions in the world. So it's pretty much like leaving a review on like a website or app like um, Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, basically, you know, the consumer, the person who purchases the products within that store can leave a review on a product and saying anything pro or con about the product and if and then people grade it by stars one out of a out of five stars one being the least five being the greatest or whatever so i noticed a lot of people you know um doing that interacting with that so it's all about you know um It's just, it's just all about innovation in my, in my mind, you know, especially that I've been, I think what's been happening as I play Clash of Clans, the video game, Clash of Clans, Anyways, what I think it has done in my mind is it has pro, it has programmed me to think differently than as opposed to someone who never even played the game because they don't have any concept regarding the game and the strategy and everything it's crazy it's very um interesting actually um the way that this whole life is as as it is, or as opposed to well, not as opposed to, but that and, like, the experience that I get, you know, through the game. Um, and it's all about creating new formulas that can be passed down. And thinking about more creative ideas to, uh, you know, to... Um, make everything better in life more even more long lasting more durable more you know like quality more like dura last you know something powerful something that won't easily break like i don't know brittle plastic or you know Anything that breaks easily. Um, but as we share each other's ideas positively, then we can come up with stronger, better solutions to implement in our inventions and stuff like that. Um, so I've actually noticed that within Clash of Clans as well. And that's that, um, I'm thinking about too much stuff. I'm sorry. Sorry, people. Um, Anyways, I think that's all I really wanted 
to share anyway. So I'm going to end this video. Everyone, you know, God bless. And I just pray and hope that we can come up with better formulas, newer inventions, stuff like that. I mean, think about it. Out of all the inventions in the world, we are lacking the ability for space travel at a much larger scale, larger spectrum. Because even if it is possible right now, which it is, it sure is. We have fucking the United, well, we have all the space forces, you know, like the United States Space Force. There is the United States Space Force and the United States Air Force. So, anyways, my whole reason for bringing this up is that we lack the ability to to travel further we lack the ability to keep batteries charged or we need to think of more creative ways to to reuse our energy and stuff like that like i think there's like a, an ad like that going on or whatever you know But it's all about love. And not just that, people. But it also reminds me of the internet. The internet, you know, it, it shows us different areas in this world where there's life problems. Nat natural disasters in life so we see like in clash of clans we see the world as you know like kind of like overlooking the earth so what is that uh like 2d or whatever right so or i'm sorry it's an overview it's an overview and we get to see down into the la landscape, like if we were flying an air, like in an airplane, or someone that went skydiving, they can see the world from that type of view. And I just that, but <sighs> you know, the internet has blessed us in many ways and I believe that it's not hard to see that there is a lot of people pretty much fighting the same type of battles that other people are and it seems like instead of us building and getting smarter we are building the same even though we just seen over here a whole town getting destroyed. So why do we continue building the way that we do? And stuff like that. You know, so those are things, ideas to consider and to think about and to come up with better solutions for. Like I've thought about, you know, making, creating some form of concrete, but with lighter, lighter, and lighter, and not just lighter, but, um, like durable, strong, um, you know, like, like a mixture, like concrete. 
and building with something like that, you know, instead of using the concrete. And I've actually seen YouTube videos where they're using, you know, some formula, some mixture of part of concrete and part of other materials, which make it durable and also light, lightweight, but it's still durable like concrete. Um, so anyways, um, we have the internet and I believe that the gods or God or Jesus Christ sent us the world wide web, which I believe is the Holy Spirit through translation of the Holy Bible. And also with my understanding as a human and as a student of the Bible and every, all aspects of learning. Um, and so I just wanted to, uh, speak about, um, Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. I need to just think. Yeah, I, was, I wanted to talk about the internet. Sorry, I'm fucking... I was so thirsty, and I needed a break. But I feel like I need to fucking continue these, this fucking video, this piece of shit fucking video. And right now, it's like I, I need a fucking break, you know? Because here I am, I'm going back to talking about the fucking internet. And it's just frustrating. Very, very frustrating. But regardless of all that, there's also the internet. So we have the internet to reveal a lot of this information. For us to look at the world from a different perspective. And that's exactly what Jesus Christ was speaking about. He was like, like, look how we're living. Instead of, you know, repaying evil for evil. It's more like if someone hits you. You know, turn the other cheek or whatever, whatever. You know, the ser the Sermon on the Mount. And there's also, there's also, oh yeah, if your enemy is thirsty, give him something to drink. Right? But anyways, so. So it's all about, we, we know, we see that it's all about love. And it's all about. You know, growing together as as a people. And then obviously passing down that info, the 411, the data that has been collected. We just continue safeguarding it and passing it down. Right? I mean, it seems that's that. It seems that that is happening. Right now. Right. So. 
That is happening right now. Information is getting stored on the internet. And that information can be used anywhere in the universe. I mean, we talk about, well, I don't even want to really get into a lot more because I don't want to throw people off. But yeah, I'd rather just stop talking about, yeah, any further regarding all this. It's getting too deep. And anyways, I just wanted to talk more about Clash of Clans. And not just Clash of Clans, but how I believe God send, send us the internet to be able to have something to measure up to or become greater in that particular area, whatever that area is, but with the internet, we excel far and beyond anything we have ever been taught. Why? Because mainly because we have something to, you know, evaluate. It's just like looking at images on the, on the web. You look at before and afters. And after a while, everything, your mind starts learning about practically what you want, what you don't want, and what it takes to acquire or to get or be on that level that you aspire to be at. And you you basically gather all that information through the internet as you look at different images and stuff like that videos, educational videos, so you're picking up on all that stuff, right? So, <sighs> so we see, you know, the, the power of the internet. We see the power of the internet. And I, like I was, I was going to really go off topic. I don't, I don't know if it's going too much off topic, but I was also thinking of, um, we can, we can technically, if we find another world like this one, we can send, we can colonize it basically. Even if it's a long ways from here. Even if it took, you know, hundreds of light years away. We would be able to do this just with the internet. And obviously communication, all that stuff, right? But anything is possible. With the internet. And you know. Here on earth like. People are fighting over. You know over money. Over. Over earthly possessions. So they can possess it. And sell it. For money or whatever. Like people are fighting over inventions. People are hurting each other over inventions, over products. People are stealing from one another, in other words. That's what I'm trying to get at. People are stealing from one another. When, when we sh really shouldn't even be on that, on that level of people stealing from one, one another. And I don't think it's the people's fault. Or I don't think it's anyone's fault, really. I just think that 
we need to come up with a better formula than that of the way we are operating now in this life, the way that we are functioning as humans in this and well in this country or in this state. I'm in California. But people we all function mostly the same way. You know, we all have a job. It's either that or we have a business. It's either that or we have people managing our business and we don't have to do any type of any form of work, which would be freaking cool, right? That would be awesome. But not everyone's on the same on the same educational level. So what we need to do is figure out a way to just help each other out as we all work towards the ultimate good for each other, for humanity, you know, for each other. It's like another example is that I'm really going off topic now, but another example is like Jesus Christ. I just felt like God or the Holy Spirit in my mind wanted me to share this, but Jesus Christ said that we are the body of Christ. We are the body. We are the bride or whatever. And like a body, he was basically saying like some have talents for different things, you know, in a body you have a hand, you have hands, you have feet, you have. So in, in other words, people have different talents than other people. And if what happens if we hurt our one, a, a body part? Well, we get sick signals to our mind. Letting us know like, hey, we're hurting over here. And it's the same thing, you know, with people. Some people are the arms. Some people are the feet. They're hungry. They're thirsty. Like, hey, we're, we're hurting over here. Like, help us out. Help us out because we're hurting over here. So now with the internet, we are able to listen and see with our eyes what people, real people are going through in this life. So if we see people that are hurting, you know, we have to remember that we're all the body. We all have to work together. For this to work correctly and for us to build a perfect kingdom, a perfect civilization. What we need to do is work together. So anyways, that's what I learned as I started playing Clash of Clans. And anyway, so I love Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans is super cool. And basically, this is just like my review of Clash of Clans to other people. So go download it. It's a super cool game.